All right, so in this lecture, I'll be going off, uh, off of the Unit 9 text for working with materials and nodes right here in Blender. And yes, we'll start with this. Uh, I recommend bringing in a plane, since we'll be working with that, to add in the checkerboard texture. You can just bring it in this way. Right? So that's good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what stage, what stage you bring this in, but you know, just remember that this is part of the assignment to work with this. And so now we have this, and what we can also do is change your own editor. For whatever reason, this isn't showing up. <laughs> okay, so to use nodes, I I did it with the cube. I just clicked add nodes here. For whatever reason, that's not working with the plane. I might have to bring that plane back in. But regardless, the point is this should work. So I brought in the nodes. Then we're going to use two rectangle. Okay. So this is, these are these two rectangles you see material and output, which this is a lot like Maya when I've worked with the nodes. Reminds me of that. So that's that's all fine. That's good. The rectangle on the left is. So we have our outputs. We have emissions, which I think. This is, I believe that's this. I'm just looking at the text and it's a bit odd to me. Maybe because I'm not in the... But anyway, that's... Either way, it, sh it, it should work. I mean, regardless, so... Yes, I have said to see this uh, Remove the lamp from your workspace. So, let's get rid of this lamp. For whatever reason, it's not showing up for this, but you know, I'll just worry. I'll just deal with this. Uh, so we have to change for, to cycles renderer. Okay, well, that'll work too. New material. So I think it's going to be diffuse BSDF, anyways. So that's fine. Okay. So actually, I added this plane at the wrong stage. <laughs> I was wrong about that, but you know, it's it's fine. Out of the plane now. I was getting a little ahead of myself there, but you know what? It's okay. So I had that right. Yes, I was right about the plane. New. No. Okay. I'm just skipping ahead of the instructions, but you know. There, okay. There are three buttons in the header during it. Uh, so this is here. And the node editor, the three buttons in the header for creating different types of nodes that each modify your objects in different ways. As you're creating material, make sure the first button, the sphere icon, and that little clock at your board is. That's this one. Because these are compositing nodes, and these are well, they're all com texture nodes, compositing. Nodes, but you want shader nodes. This is essentially what this is. So then, color, which is great. Um, Uh, what's well, this brown here? But you know, let me see something. Okay, so I could just type in the values. You could also do that if you if you're going off of the example here. So I got that, and I got point zero thirty six.
0.006. That's, yeah, that's pretty close to what we want. Roughness should be zero, so leave that alone. Roughness is, I don't think, that's like a, I believe that's a gloss mat. Which if you're wondering, I'll look that up right now on my other desk, my other laptop here. Glass mat. Uh, this defines a specular, or specular is basically shininess. Uh, highlight per pixel and also called specular power. The specular map defies the intensity. well, that's the uh, scientific de definition. What is a gloss map? Uh, yeah, gloss and roughness are the same thing. Well, this is a roughness map. Roughness map. This continues how rough or smooth the uh, uh, material surface is. In any case, we're not really dealing with that. Uh, we may get into roughness somewhat later, uh, a little bit later, depending on how things go for the remainder of this class. But anyway, yes, it's a brown floor. Um, and I'm going to render this just to see how it looks. As you can see, this, yeah, I realize the uh, cube is black, but I think it's because I have a note on it. And I, I can just change that to the other kind. When I, can I do that now? Apparently not. Well, what I can do is I can just get rid of this cube and put in a new one. Maybe I'll do that, you know. Just for the sake of having it as the same kind of shader uh, under the Cycles Renderer. So yeah, definitely work with the Cycles Renderer. I mean, yeah, Blender's great. The Blender one's fine, but I don't know. If you're working with shaders, I, de I, I would just work with this, see? This is BS diff. And all you need to do is change the color. All right, why don't we see how this looks? Okay, brown and blue. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, my attempt is at least get the cherry one on there. But I want to see how that looked. So yeah, it appears when you work with, when you're working with the second renderer, whatever color and whatever texture will only render, will only show up if you render it. And I think that's different. I think Blender renders that. It'll appear in real time. I I think so. But then again, I've only really worked with Cycles Render. So, you know, depending on the assignment, depending on what is required of it. Right. So... Floor is not a burn color, it's not very realistic. Generally, you don't need to think about what you're trying to accomplish. Let's say you would like the floor to be tiled. That other material went clean, reflects lights and shadows. Yeah, we'll be reading this in class too, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time reading the text. But some things to note um, you can create space for multiple nodes. In other words, just drag this like that. I think that's what I mean to create space. So yellow is color, gray is roughness of your surface, and blue represents your vectors as in normal maps and bump, na bump maps and I think not parallax maps, just Displacement maps, I, I think, as well, would all f fall under vectors. So, anyway, we might get into normal maps later on. So, okay, and under the node workspace, click Add Shader, Add Shader, and then we want Mix Shader, I think. Yes. Okay. Well, that's. You know, I, am I doing this to the point or am I doing it okay. So I knew this is a cube, but you know, not that it really matters. The idea is the same, so. Oh, well, because it allows you to do a whole lot of texturing quickly and easily. Um, I think Maya has a, yeah, I could go on and about Maya, the difference between Maya and Blender, but the point is there's a similar feature in Maya. Um, I don't know if we'll be getting into materials in Maya, 
it depends on how things go with the rest of this class. So anyway, you may notice that any of this is made for a darker shade of brown. That's because you are combining brown with nothingness. Well, actually, it would be blue, the color I. Yeah. I don't need to render out the whole thing. I think you get the idea. Okay, you're in fact you're combining it. Okay. Which will automatically connect. Why didn't that connect? Okay, so actually I need to drop this here. Like that. That's what they mean. Alright, so I'm gonna render that again. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> with this but as long as you understand like as long as I you know I will communicate what you need to do your your assignment will involve working with nodes and I think I think we should get into nodes cuz well one thing there you can do a lot with them and another you know they add a lot to your textures I mean yeah colors fine as I said but why not make it look you know, like if you want to add wood, you could definitely do that. Um, I'm not sure how you would exactly do that in Blender, but I can do it in Maya. Anyway, the point is, nodes, or well, even in Nuke, if you do get a composite, you work with nodes. But the point is, nodes add a lot, and they, they make a difference. So, anyway. So, you made it by the factor. Okay, so this is 0.5 which is fine, but you can change this to, well, it will definitely, uh, let's say 0.15, right? Yeah, it, okay, so that'll affect that blue. You know, I'm gonna add this to the floor too, I'm gonna add in a mix, mix node to that. Because it's easy. I don't know if you can save your shaders like you can in Maya, and then and then reuse it later. Okay, actually, you don't even really need to drag. You just you just drop it in, and it'll do it for you. But yeah, same thing. Color, roughness, normal. Let's try twenty. I mean, there's no lighting in here either, so that, yeah, there, which I will require you to do, I'll probably just have you do a sunlight. I think that's, I mean, we're not doing three-point lighting at this point, so, anyway. And in darkness, material for one, so it looks like this can be one point zero. I don't know if we can get any higher than that. But yeah. That's the gist of that. And that's darker than what I... <laughs> I'll just stick to 15 for these guys. I mean, honestly, that's fine. So anyway, press Shift A again and select Glossy BSDF. Okay. So that's this one. In place of below the diffuse banana noodle. Okay. So underneath this. Click on the green output of the an extended needle, the front green shader of the I think that's this. Yeah, it's the one on the bottom. So it would be here, and it would go here. We 
reduce the mix factor in the shader to 0.25. Actually, that'll be increased for me, but let's see how this renders. Okay, yeah, that that you can tell that that's making a difference with that. It it does indeed have a gloss or a roughness to it, right? So I think that look that looks pretty good so far. Do, 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 do. So this should be one again, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna add in a texture for the actually a shader for our what we want here texture checker texture okay so this does have textures provided for you all right and this will be below the glossy BS this one here your glossy node kind of nice for it to be glossy I mean reflection right I mean yeah you can't see yourself in it but <laughs> Hey, I, I don't want you to be, uh, you know, disappointed <laughs> if you find out, oh, I can't see myself. Well, uh, uh, uh. you know what I'm saying. But, you know, you can, uh, it, it's great if you want to reflect objects off of one another. And I know a student had a question about reflection. So I think this will definitely kind of, he'll be able to take a look into this further and, you know, as he kind of had the right idea, but you know, at that point we ha hadn't got into nodes. So, if you're, you know, who I'm talking about, or if you're watching this, you know who uh, you know who you are, right? Anyway, the point is, okay. So I got my my checker texture node in there. Okay, okay. So this has. A factor and uh, and a color output socket. This so the fact output corresponds to the tag input socket. Let me see your node. So you drag the noodle. Yeah, so check the fact output and tag output. So. I'm just looking over the text, that's why I'm like pausing here. Uh, go ahead and drag the connect noodle from the checker texture nodes out, pack output. Okay. Yeah, so that's this one, I should map, so. Yeah, in a way, you're, it's just color, it's just color coding basically. I mean, you're jiggling around. Okay, so let's render this. Yeah, so as you can see, there is a texture, a checkerboard texture on here, which is looking pretty good, I think. So yeah, and I'm gonna add a light. So your your assignment will be. Yes, of course I want you to do uh, the checkerboard plane. But what I also want is three objects, any three objects you're choosing. So, you know, you can have, right, you can have your, your cube, you can have your monkey and, you know, a cone. And I want all three to have a glossy shader on them. No checker, just three of them with their glossy BSDF. And I do want a light in there. I will have uh, some light is fine, honestly. <laughs> you can see what a difference that makes right, with that light in there. So yeah, that's that. That will be your assignment. Um, I don't really need to demonstrate. Oh, well, why don't I demonstrate how to add in the glo glossy again? I mean, it's pretty easy, right? 
I'm essentially just plugging it into your bottom of the of your of this so this would be this mm -hmm. and I want your three objects to be different colors so you could have you know this is blue already right let's render that just for fun although you may not be able to see that very well with your so you might need to turn up your roughness on this why don't I do that so I think the roughness is to be at least one but yeah so checkerboard floor three objects three different colors each so you know blue red and green all with the glossy shader applied to them and that that is your assignment right I'm just letting this you know finish uh, uh, yeah, okay so it's done rendering so that's it right um, yeah and I would say add a light in there well I don't know. I'm curious to see how to render without it. Yeah, put a light in there. It looks better with it, I think. So that's your, your assignment. I'm, I can just undo deleting that. All right. So that's it. And I think you could even up this roughness, can't you? Yeah. So you can definitely um, adjust the roughness to your liking. All right. So yeah, I want to, like I said, <laughs> checkerboard floor, three objects, any cut, they can, three different objects, three different colors, all with the glossy BSDF applied to them. And that's your assignment. Um, and I'll, and you know, remember, save as a Blender file, all right? I'm just going to name mine uh, Shader Demo or something like that. Uh, yeah. And... Okay, so that's that. Um, if you have any questions or need any assistance, you need any support, you know, let me know. I'll be able to assist you.